What up? Morning. It's Winchell here doing another uh, quick tutorial. Uh, I've done a bunch of cube base uh, tutorials and people seem to like them. Uh, I had a request. Someone was looking for how to set up the uh, Axiom, the M Audio Axiom keyboard into cube base. Um, and it is kind of complicated. Um, basically, what you're going to have to do is go to M Audio's website. You can Google them or just go to mAudio.com. And once you get there, um, you're going to have to go under the community tab over here. Go to user forums. And then inside of here, you're going to have to uh, log in and create an account, which it's free. It doesn't cost anything. It's just your email address and uh, a password to create, and then you're in. Um, and then once you sign up and you're able to get to this link right here at the top that says links and downloads once you click on that you're gonna see keyboard and controller setup files now down through here you're gonna see the axiom series all these uh, click on axiom and then choose your uh, your program that you're working with. Uh, in this case we're going to use Cubebase. So you click on that and then you can see that they've got a file for the Q for the Axiom 25, the Axiom 49, and the Axiom 61. Now I've got the 61 so I'm going to uh, grab this one and I downloaded it. Now what I'm going to do is uh, actually minimize this I'm going to take and drag it onto my desktop. So now it's on my desktop. Now what you're going to want to do is double click it to open it. You're going to see a text document and a, a Cubase XML document. Those two files you're going to need. The first one you can open it and read it and it basically tells you how to do what I'm going to show you. Um, and uh, so you can read through this if you like to to find out how to do it or you can continue watching and just watch what I do. Now basically you're gonna take this uh, Axiom 49-61 Cubase file and you're gonna place it somewhere. You're gonna put it somewhere that you know how to get to. Let's say uh, you can put it under your documents. Um, so right here I'm just gonna drag it over to my documents. Now I have one here. I should. Yep, Axiom 4961. Now what you can do to get to that is once you have that in there, uh, you can close out everything else and open up Cubebase. And once in here, you can go to Device, Device Setup, MIDI, okay, sorry, my son is calling me. Uh, one second. Um, remote devices. Actually, all you're going to want to do is go to. Yeah, okay. Add generic remote. This little plus sign right here. You hit that and go to generic remote. What it's going to do is it's going to pop up this window. Now, this window is just going to say generic remote here. And up here, it's going to say not connected, not connected. Um, so you're just going to go up here and choose your audio, uh, your Axiom 61, USB Axiom 61, for the input and the output. Now, to the right here, you're going to see import, export, add, delete, and learn. If you click import, you're going to be able to go to your documents or wherever you put that file, and you're going to choose that file. And then what that's going to do is it's going to load all the presets for the faders, for the knobs, for the play, stop, rewind, all those. And it will, uh, and then after you import it, you just click apply down here and OK. And then you should be able to just go right in. Uh, no. You should be able to go into MIDI port setup right here and see the uh, Axiom 61 is active and enabled and working. Um, and there you go. That should do it. Um, then you can sit there and hit play with this. Um, use the keys. Your faders. If you open up a mixer, you can see that they're all they're all linked right to the axiom. So that way, uh, yeah, 
so you don't have to mess around and, and use your mouse to control everything. It makes it so much easier. But um, yeah, that was just another quick tutorial. My name's Winchell. Uh, if you like this, please rate, subscribe, comment. Uh, and I am looking for um, tutorials to do. Uh, so I appreciate if anybody has any suggestions or uh, any questions. Uh, just hit me up and I'll talk to you later. Peace.